As a neurosurgeon, if there was one surgery I couldn't do that would make me sad, it would be pituitary surgery. And if there's only one surgery I could do for the rest of my life, it would be pituitary surgery. A pituitary tumor is a growth on the pituitary gland that isn't a cancer. It doesn't go anywhere else like people think about a breast growth or a lung growth. But what it does is it pushes on the pituitary gland and may cause that to not work. The truth is they're really well managed with modern techniques and most patients only need one episode of care to take care of them. They don't see these recur in the future and people do very well with them. Mayo Clinic is one of the largest pituitary referral centers in the world. And we're used to seeing pituitary patients from all over the world and all over the country. And I think that gives somewhat of an advantage in terms of the diversity of pituitary care that we offer. What makes us unique? So if it's pituitary surgery in this circumstance, that's what I do all the time. That's what the endocrinologist that you see does all the time. My colleagues in ENT, they do these approaches all the time. We're all talking before surgery, so there's no surprises. There's multiple people involved in care, and I think that ultimately leads to better intraoperative decision-making for that patient. In addition to the care of the tumor itself, one of the things that we're very interested in is patient quality of life following this kind of surgery. These include things like endocrine dysfunction, things like feeling malaise or tiredness as hormonal levels adjust following surgery, as well as things like nasal breathing and sense of smell, which are really vitally important to patients' joy and how they really get to experience and enjoy the things around them. We fully understand that most of our patients may be traveling for a great distance. A number of our follow-up visits after surgery can also be done via video visits or telemedicine. Patients may be able to receive imaging studies locally and have them sent for review and then meet with us via video visits in order to review those things with them and ensure that they're progressing well after surgery. I think what's most important for you as a patient, I want to take care of your problem so you get back to your normal life as it should be.